Okay guys, so in this video we're going to talk about Rolle's Theorem. Uh, Rolle's Theorem states that uh, if we let f be continuous on a closed interval but differentiable on an open interval, then provided f of a equals 0 and f of b equals 0, then there exists at least one c in the open interval a, b such that f prime of c equals 0. Now again, this is just math talk for something very, very basic, okay? So a couple things to point out. We're on a closed interval to start, okay? So we're on a closed interval. We know that f of a equals zero. We know that f of b equals zero. Well, that's nothing more than saying the y-coordinate at a is zero and the y-coordinate at b is zero, which is another way of saying that those are x-intercepts. So if I draw a picture, here's my x-axis, here's my y-axis, here's my a, and here's my b. Those are now x-intercepts. So I've got an intercept here, and I've got an intercept here. Now, what we're saying is that if this is true, so we're continuous, remember, I've got to somehow be able to connect this with this being continuous. I also need to do so uh, in a way that we don't have any non-differentiable points between A and B. So if you remember back from the last section and even a couple sections ago in chapter three, we talked about what a lot of those non-differentiable uh, places look like. So you have to avoid those. So the easiest way for me to draw this is just a nice, smooth, continuous curve, continuous and differentiable, okay? We've got this condition met, we've got this condition met, we have these conditions met. With all of those conditions in place, then there exists at least one C between A and B such that F prime of C equals zero. Well, if you remember from the last section, what is x equals c? If f prime of c equals 0, well, that's your critical value, right? The slope at c equals 0, which means we have a horizontal tangent line at c. So right about here, there we go. Okay? So, again, this theorem is very, very intuitive. If you have the closed interval a, b, if you have a continuous function on that closed interval, if you have a differentiable function on that open interval, which we do, and provided the uh, y-coordinate is zero here and the y-coordinate is zero here, there has to be, there's guaranteed at least one point between A and B that we're able to come up with this horizontal tangent line. Okay, so very, very intuitive uh, idea uh, that I agree might read a little messy to start, but once we put it in a picture, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen and we'll take a look at an example. Okay, so in this problem, we're going to verify the hypotheses of Rolle's theorem. And the hypotheses of a theorem are the ifs of the theorem. If this, if this, if this. In our particular case, if it's continuous on the closed, if it's differentiable on the open, and if uh, f of a equals 0 equals f of b. Those are the hypotheses. We're going to verify those, provided they're all true and they all exist, then those c values have to be there. We're going to then go ahead and find them. Okay, so for the hypotheses, the first one that we talked about uh, is f being continuous on the closed interval 0 to 2. And can we be convinced of this? Yes. And we know this because in the most easiest way, this is a polynomial. It's going to be continuous everywhere. The second part was, is f differentiable on the open interval 0 to 2? And once again, the answer is yes. And once again, the answer is because it's a polynomial. Polynomials are differentiable everywhere. The third one, we need to make sure that f of 0 equals 0 equals f of 2. Right? Those are those endpoints there that need to be grounded on the x-axis. And you would see that if you take the 0 and plug it in and the 2 and plug it in, it does check out. So this is also a check. Now, since we verified the hypotheses, now we're going to come over here and we're going to find C. So to find C, remember, all it says is that F prime of C has to be equal to 0. So my F prime 
is going to be 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. My f prime of c is going to be 3c squared minus 6c plus 2. When I set it equal to 0 and solve it, I'm going to get, not x's, I'm going to get c equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 over 3. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't factor, so you could use the quadratic formula or you could complete the square. Um, honestly, completing the square is probably far more efficient here um, if you look into the process a bit more. Uh, but either way, we get c equals 1 plus or minus 3 over root 3. And so these are the values of c. Now, I do want to point out real quickly, much like the last section, we want to make sure that because we're given a very specific interval to start, that our c values that we find are within the interval. Um, and in this case, they both are. So both of these are acceptable solutions uh, for the values of c. So go ahead and graph the original function here on Desmos on this interval, and you would find out that this is where on the x-axis you would have those horizontal tangent lines uh, that we talked about. Rolle's theorem just confirms the fact that, that they should be there and they are there.